I have a bike rack on my head. I'm talking about the Klug Hornet. This is advertised as the world's smallest bike rack. So Klug sent me three of these. They sent me two mediums, which fit tire sizes 33 to 42, 42C. And then they sent me the large, which fits tires, let's say 1.8 to 2.5 inch. So they don't have one that fits a plus size tire yet. So I'm gonna install these in the mechanical room at work. A buddy of mine is gonna help me do this. And I'm gonna put one up and we're gonna see how it works first before I install the other two. So this is the current situation. The bikes right now, we're just kind of leaning up against the wall and I usually keep two or three here at work. So we're gonna put them on that wall so we can tidy up the room a little bit. So let's see what we've got in here. So we've got the clug itself and you've got some screws with some drywall anchors. And so it looks like we're gonna install this portion and then we'll I'm gonna do it with these screws. Then you just pop in this part. And this is the part that actually grips your tire, it looks like. I've never used one of these, so this is the first time. On the box, it has a tire size guide, by the way. And so it says here, if your tires are narrower than this, you will need a smaller clug. And the other side, it says, if your tires are wider than this, you will need a bigger clug. And on the mountain bike one, so this is the large, so this is the biggest one they have. So, you know, narrower than this, you'll need a smaller. <laughs> and then the big one says, if your tires are wider than this, you are just too gnarly to clug. So that shows, again, that they don't have a plus size. So the max mountain bike tire size would be a 2.5. Also inside the box is a cutting guide that you can unfold. So I'm gonna fold this out and we'll take a look. But we're not really gonna use, uh, but it's there if you need it, it'll just, make drilling your holes into the wall a little bit easier. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these on the wall. All right, so we've lined up the wheel where we want it, right in the center of the wheel. We're marking it and we're gonna install this little guy. So we hit a metal stud and that means we don't have to use the drywall anchors. We have the clipper installed, which is what Clug calls this. And then we install the gripper. Again, these are the terms that Clug uses. All right, let's try to put a bike up there. That was pretty easy. So let's see how secure this is because I'm not gonna leave my bikes up somewhere that's not secure. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Wow. So the gripper only touches the tire. It's about two or three millimeters off from touching the rim, which I kind of like that too, because the tire just kind of falls back a little bit. And so yeah, that's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna put up, uh, I'm gonna put up two more. That one's tight. Uh-oh, there we go. Well, definitely a more secure hold than the cross bike. Yeah, that one also doesn't really touch the rim, so let's try to get this one out. There we go. So this is what it looks like with two bikes. A couple observations. One is it's gonna depend on your storage needs if this pays off for you. Like for this situation, the bikes sit off the wall more than if I were to just lean them up against the wall. Uh, so if you've got a lot of wall space, you're gonna to need to have two or three or four bikes to make this uh, worth doing. However, if your situation is you only have, you know, a small amount of space, so uh, you don't have a whole wall to lean a bike against, then this is a really great solution. So I can see for someone who has an apartment or, you know, like I said, a garage where you just have a small amount of wall space available, um, this is going to be a really good setup. Also, the rear tire has to rest on the ground. 
uh, the clog is not strong enough uh, to hold a bike if you were to try to hang it higher it's not going to work uh, it's just not designed to do that and by the way inside here i didn't mention this but it's plastic uh, you know looking at a picture i almost thought it was some kind of soft rubber but it's actually plastic uh, but again I, I like the fact that it only holds by the tire and that brings up a point that i think is really worth considering and that is the fact that if your tire were to deflate the bike would fall out so i don't view this as a long-term storage solution so in other words you're going to set the bike up and just leave it you know for a month and not touch it this is this is something that you want to use uh, routinely like if you ride three four days a week um, we've all had those situations where you get back from a ride and then the next morning you walk out to the garage and your tires flat uh, that's that would be a problem with this uh, because if the front tire goes flat uh, your bike's going to fall out now if you're a dirt jumper and you dump your bike every three jumps you no big deal if you're someone like me who takes really good care of your nice bikes um, i wouldn't want my bike falling out so you really got to think about that now i run tubeless tires and tubeless rims and i rarely have a tire go flat but if you're storing long term any tire is going to lose air over a long period of time so you really got to consider that so to that point i think a great feature enhancement to this would be some kind of strap that you could pull over and just clip here so you know maybe one of those rubber straps like that you use to mount a light on the handlebar or something that just flips over and locks in uh, for long-term storage that way should the front tire go flat the bike wouldn't fall out so hopefully clug will watch this video and think about that uh, product enhancement that you could do on this so to wrap it up the main advantages to the clug are the fact that it goes up really quickly uh, i think they packaged it nicely uh, it seems like it's good quality and taking your bike on and off is super quick uh, and off also it's probably the least expensive storage option uh, for any kind of rack or wall mount uh, device that i've found so that will wrap up this review of a really cool wall mounting storage option that i think is going to fit the needs of a lot of y'all out there consider what i said about the tire going flat and uh, how much wall space you have to decide if it's a good solution for you thanks for watching